Brooklyn Museum is one of the largest art museums in the United States. Its permanent collection includes objects ranging from ancient masterpieces to contemporary art. The Brooklyn Museum also has one of the most important collections of decorative arts in the country, including an entire 17th century Brooklyn Dutch farmhouse and a spectacular 19th century Moorish period room, originally part of John D. Rockefeller's mansion. By learning about indigenous understandings of the, of the natural world, of the environment, it's the only way we can achieve environmental justice is by looking at what indigenous people have done in the past and what they're doing in the present. Down or lower halfway, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Collarbone wide. As you exhale, you'll lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Nice, Maria. So good. Three breaths here. Keep it at tree pose. <laughs> Sometimes this language is so fun. Press palm into palm. Hook your thumbs at the base of your sternum. Lift your chest up a little bit taller. Ground down through the standing foot. Get taller through the crown of your head. And then Founded in 1823, the Brooklyn Apprentices Library had the mission of providing educational materials to all people for free. And that morphed into the Brooklyn Institute of Arts and Sciences. When Brooklyn was a city in its own right, they decided that we needed a museum worthy of Brooklyn's wealth, her position, her culture, and her people. They wanted it to be one of the great museums to rival those of Europe. Mm -hmm.